Object detection is an important problem in machine learning. Human-centered approaches for object detection seek to enhance the agency and transparency over such tasks, but leverage little human knowledge beyond labels. What if we can make the process and outcome better by letting people express more? From findings of a formative study we conducted to learn how people explain concepts to a hypothetical learning system, we created Pixie, a prototype for object detection embodying a teaching language that lets users teach concepts to a learning system. Pixie has four main areas. The concept descriptions panel, where teachers can define concepts and relationships. The learning panel, showing the status of the concepts taught to the system. The teaching samples panel, listing images that can be used for teaching. And the image labeling panel, where teachers can provide examples of defined concepts and relationships. Let's see how it works. We will start with a concept that we want the system to recognize. Let's teach it to find instances of people riding a bicycle which we will refer to as the target concept. The system loads a few images for us to work with and helps us identify things to teach about the target concept that the system should know about. We can teach them via concept descriptions, which can include concepts, relationships, and modifiers, such as uncertainty qualifiers, and cardinality indicators. Concepts described here appear blue on the image labeling panel, while unlisted concepts appear white. On the learning panel, we can see that some items, like person, are known, but others, like helmet, handlebar, and wheel, will need examples before the system can recognize them. Let's add a few. The solid outlines indicate that these labels are confirmed by the teacher. And the dashed ones are predictions from the system. We can confirm those predictions, which now have a solid outline. And we can also add relationships between concepts. We should also add a label for the target concept itself, which is shown in yellow. And we can remove wrong labels as well. As we move on, we see that the learning panel updated to show how many samples were taught to the new concepts. And the teaching sample shows how many concepts were taught and confirmed. Let's teach more examples. The learning panel helps us keep track of teaching progress. The small donor chart shows that there's only one image sample left to teach before the system is able to predict this concept. The overlap chart depicts the intersection of images containing helmet in blue, the images containing the target concept in yellow, and the intersection shows co-occurrence of both in the same images. This can tell us how well aligned this concept is in relation to the target concept and can also help locate images that need labeling. If we click on any of the three segments in this overlap chart, the teaching samples are reordered to show these images first. The bar chart shows how many labels were confirmed, added, or removed from bicycle, and can give us a sense of how well the system is doing on predicting this concept. Let's add one last label for helmet to start training. We can now test the system on how well it learned the concept of helmet. It fetches images for which the concept was found to be present, and which can be reviewed in this new tab. Testing can be done multiple times, returning new images every time. Finally, after teaching new labels, the system can be updated to be tested again. In the showcase of Pixie, we demonstrated how a teaching language that entails concepts, relationships, modifiers, and labels may be used to teach future learning systems.